Once again, there is a chance Oklahomans could see their grocery bill shrink. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Evan Onstein. I'm Jessica Schambach. A bill elim uh, eliminating the state grocery tax has been filed at the state capitol, this time by Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat. And KOCO's Andy Weber joining us live tonight. So Andy, what makes this different than previous attempts? Well, as Jess mentioned, it's different because the Senate President Pro Tem is weighing in. For several years now, lawmakers on different sides of the aisle have called for a cut to the state's grocery tax. But after numerous attempts, those attempts have failed in the state Senate. I've been wanting to have it for a few years. It just hasn't happened, so I'm going to keep pushing it until we're successful or until I leave the building, one of the two. Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat filing SB 1283, which would make food and food ingredients exempt from the state's current 4.5% grocery tax. It would not ban municipalities from taxing groceries, though. This is going to help the most Oklahomans in any tax relief we could provide. But just because Treat authored this bill doesn't mean it will get passed out of the Senate. That body's budget chair, Roger Thompson, has long been worried about cutting taxes that fund essential services. One of the things that I have often talked about not cutting taxes is that the people of Oklahoma deserve the services of Oklahoma. If we do away with this, what's in place to make sure when there is a revenue shortfall that we can, you know, still pay our bills? Well, we're not touching the other core tax groups if we did this. It can't be taken in a vacuum. If we do, if we move on any other tax relief, tax cut, we'd have to look at the total picture. I'm just talking about just the grocery tax right now. You've had these work groups before. You've had some opposition among your membership. Could that get in the way of making this passable? Yeah, I'm one member of 48 over here, and so I've got to convince my colleagues. I've got a number of them that believe the way I do, but not everyone, and so I've got a job to convince them that Oklahomans need relief on their uh, grocery bill. And Treat says right now he doesn't expect this bill to pass to the Capitol overnight. It would probably take several months, sometime in April or May, before that bill were to reach the governor's desk. Reporting live in Edmond, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.